I give the floor to Baha'i international community. Thank you, Mr. President. Last week, in a heart-rending act, Iranian authorities leveled over 30 Baha'i graves in Tehran. Not only plots of land, these were human beings, each with a lived story of tremendous suffering and persecution for their faith. Among them was an elderly woman whose husband was executed for being a Baha'i, her sons banned from universities also for their faith, and then both imprisoned for years, resulting in her raising their young children. When she died, her burial in the Baha'i cemetery was refused, so her family donated her body to science as an act of service to society. Cruelly, the hospital rejected her body, labeling it as religiously unclean. Persecution continued when her body was then forcibly buried in a mass grave site, and now barely three months later, that site has been leveled. Today, we ask the Iranian government, what threats do the dead possess to society? How do you justify your acts in your conscience, knowing that even in death, you do not leave Baha'is in peace, imposing brutality on them, even in their grief? There's no religious or cultural norm that would ever support this kind of cruelty. The fact-finding missions report documented an increase in the persecution against religious minorities since last year's uprising. The Baha'i community, a long-suffering group, is one such example. We call for the extension of the mandate of the fact-finding mission as it ensures that Iran is held accountable for its harassment of the Baha'is and all who seek equality under the law. Thank you.